Hey guys, a lot of you know that in researching for my big feature cover story for Peterson's bow hunting, I transitioned over to a saddle about three years ago or so. I've loved it, I've enjoyed it, but one thing, and I've, I've helped promote the industry a lot on all the forums and everything. One thing you'll never hear me say though is that I can get in a tree with a saddle that I could not get in with a stand. And I hunt a lot of little trees with a saddle like this. Um, what you may not realize is I hunted for 18 years out of a lone wolf hand climber. There would be times I'd alternate with a lone wolf uh, alpha hang on and four climbing sticks, lone wolf sticks. But mostly I did 99.99% of my hunting out of a lone wolf hand climber. And when you look at a tree this big around, this small, you go, well, there's no way you can get into it with a hand climber. In fact, if you look there, there is a stock factory lone wolf hand climber. Now it does have an XL belt, which is about two inches longer. Uh, I replaced all my belts as do most people with the XL belts right off the bat. But that is that belt is ran all the way down to its stops. That there, you can see, there's no way you can hunt out of that this tree with that lone wolf hand climber, or is there? We're going to show you a very very simple hack today, a DIY hack that takes no money, no skills whatsoever. It takes you about 10 minutes, and you'll be able to get that climber and this tree and kill the buck of your dreams out of it if you so happen to have him come by. I've killed a lot of deer out of tree this, trees this big out of a lone wolf hand climber just like this. No need to get a saddle. If you want a saddle, great. They're awesome tools, but it's just that. It's a tool. You can get that tool to work in this tree. We're going to show you how. Okay guys, so we're off the tree now and I wanted to, to take some time to explain to you exactly what is the limiting factor on this. You know, I, I was out in the woods and, and there's a lot of times there's not a perfect tree where you want to be. I, I, I wish there always was. If, you're, if you've been hunting for a long time, you know there's not. And I was getting frustrated. I came home and I tried to figure out what was the limiting factor to keep this distraction belt from going down. And it was like a light bulb hit me the, the one night when I was, I was sitting in front of a TV, TV last one night coming in late from deer hunting. And it's this bolt right here. This is the way it comes from the factory, and the bolt going through that holds on this pivoting arm here is what's keeping the traction belt from going down. So guys, what I did was, I took it and flipped it. It's a very, very simple five minute fix. We'll show you exactly the tools it takes to do it. But look, when you flip this bolt and you have it coming this way, now, this is smooth, you're not gonna catch on anything. This does stick out a half an inch or so, but I've never caught it on anything. The main important thing is it lets this traction belt, belt go on through. And now that tree that you saw us on, we'll take this, well actually we'll do it on this one. I'll show you flipping the bolt, exactly how to do that. Super common sense, super easy. Five minutes, two tools. But then these traction bolts belts can go on down all the way through. We'll show you putting this lone wolf that was hanging down like that. We'll show you that we can get in that tree once you do this mod. Simple, easy, no money. So let's show you how to do that. So guys, here's your tools. Take a, uh, a, a simple uh, Allen wrench set that any you'd have any of it to work in your bow shop or, or around your bow, and a 7 16 inch socket with an extension. If you've got a 7 16 inch deep well socket, that'll work too. The problem is this hole right here, to get in there, you need something pretty, pretty slim. And my deep well sockets weren't getting in there. And, uh, and getting around that, that the nut in there. So there's a 7 16 inch nut, then you've got an Allen wrench here. Once you get that, that held, you can simply unscrew it like this and take it off. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to move over to the con my concrete driveway. This deck has completely got skirting around it. And with these cracks in here, there's a Teflon washer in between this arm and this, uh, this cast, cast aluminum stand part of it. There's a Teflon washer. That's what keeps it from squeaking as you raise and lower. You don't want to lose that little Teflon washer. So uh, we'll show you bringing it apart and reassembling it back together here in a second. Okay guys, we've got everything taken apart here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this bolt over or reverse it. Now from the factory, it's this way, and you can see the length of that bolt is gonna, is gonna be a block to that traction belt. We're gonna take it, take it and flip it on over. Keep this, this nylon spacer, is very important. I'm gonna insert it onto an Allen wrench, 
makes it real easy to stick through. I take that nylon spacer, put it on that, that bolt. Push it back through just a little bit. There we go. It took a little fiddling to get it to come on through that way, but because I'm doing it blind. Now you can take this, this nut with a locking nylon washer. Get it going by hand. If you want to know why, I've got a ratcheting wrench here and it just makes it a whole lot easier. But really all you need is those two tools I showed you at the beginning. Again, this is a 7 16 inch ratcheting wrench. You can see I tightened it until it just started to get snug. But for the sake of time, we won't show you doing the other one. It just You just do the same thing. But watch this, guys. You unbolt this. Look at this. Now there's nothing stopping that belt from going through. So let's, let's do the other one real quick. We'll flip that one, put it together. We'll go back out to the tree. We'll show you that we can get on that tree with this exact same climber that wasn't letting us get on there before. Okay, guys, we're back at the tree right now. We're going to show you that we can get up into about any size tree you need to now that you make this simple five-minute mod. Here's the base that we did our mod to. Beat a little bit more traction belt into it because I know this is a little tree right off the bat. Look at this guys, we can go as tight as we need to to give us the angle. Look at that angle now that we've got. I'm going to give myself a little bit more angle here to pull up to hold my weight. As you can see guys, I've got it angled even more. If I went 20, 22 foot up, whatever, 18 to 20 foot, I'd be about perfect. But the main thing is to show you, I went from the most adjustment I had was that angle, now I'm even more than I need to be. So simple five minute DIY hack, two tools, no money, gets you an entry you want to with a lone wolf hand climber. Good luck this season, hope you kill a big one.